Walford stronghold, where Prince Roland is being sheltered by his loyal friends and allies. Sarah Noah. Certainly. However, What do you need? Possibly. Yes, I see. My lord. Interesting indeed. So... Quite true. I am decided.
Lord Saranoa. In that case... I need time. It is time to cast our votes. Do we surrender Prince Roland, or do we protect him from those who would do him harm? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I believe in you. I believe I can decide this matter with confidence. So... I agree. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. forward is decided. We protect Prince Roland with our lives and drive Esfrost from our home. Wrong. This is more than simply the advantage of terrain. Retreat! All companies, fall back at once! <laughs> Look at him turn tail and run! And we didn't even need that damn contraption! Indeed. I am thankful we kept any damage to the town at a minimum. You have my gratitude. All of you. Roland is being sheltered by his loyal friends and allies. I... moment to think. Here's what I think.
And further. Hmm. Consider this. Hmm. And further. Lord Saranoa. Certainly. But... Perhaps. It is time to cast our votes. Do we surrender Prince Roland, or do we protect him from those who would do him harm? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I am so sorry. I agree. I cannot be swayed. Forgive me, lad. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. forward is decided. Surrendering Prince Roland is the only way we can survive. The news of Prince Roland's death spreads across the land like wildfire. With his demise, seemingly comes the end of the Kingdom of Glenbrook. But only days later, a proclamation is made that would bind Esfrost and Glenbrook. Bearer of the Royal Signet and last heir to the throne of Glenbrook, Cordelia is to ascend as Queen. And wed Archduke Gustadolf.
Lord Saranoa. Yes. Certainly. Saranoa. I see. In that case... I see. We must dis... Quite true. Certainly not. Hmm. Aye, lad. Consider this. It is time to cast our votes. Do we follow Sorcelay's orders and smuggle salt across our borders, or do we take another path? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. Forgive me, my lord. Even still. I agree. Just can't see it your way. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. The way forward is decided. We have no choice but to follow Sorcelay's demands and bring the salt to Esfrost. With no choice but to acquiesce to Sorcelay's demands, House Wolffort loads a merchant's cart with contraband salt and sets off across their own homeland in disguise. Through benighted forests and desolate mountains, they forge a path staving off the assault of thievish bandits and finally reaching Esfrost. Upon crossing into new territory, they find themselves surrounded by soldiers clad in black. Expecting yet another skirmish, the Wolfort steal themselves for combat. However, the warriors lower their weapons. Through the mists, an unexpected figure appears, Svarog Esfrost, Lord of Twinsgate and Keeper of his country's borders.
Ay. Hmm. And Quite true. Lord Saranoa. Indeed. Me? Saranoa. Yes. I need a moment to think. Surely. Here's what I think. And so... You're onto something. I've made up my mind. It is time to cast our votes. Do we reveal that it is Roland behind the mask, or do we keep his identity a secret? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I wholeheartedly agree. I agree. I cannot be swayed. You won me over. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen.
way forward is decided. The only way to win Svarog's trust is to reveal Roland's identity and begin negotiations. In his time, Lord Simon protected the Roselle who fled Hyzant, and the village they established within the Wolfort Domain. Thirty years have passed since then. The Hierophant uses the illegal salt trade incident as leverage to demand those Roselle be sent to the source, where Hyzantian faith dictates they must reside. After being found guilty at the trial, Serenoa has no other choice but to acquiesce. Thus, with House End ruined and a vacant position among the Saintly Seven to be filled, rumors of House Wolfort's ascendancy start sounding more credible than ever to the people of Hyzant. Force them into a... We must decide. Decided. Lord Saranoa. Indeed. I must hear what the others think. I... And... What do you need? Uh-huh. I require some time to think. It is time to cast our votes. We face a difficult decision. 
Do we surrender the Roselle living in our domain to Hyzant, or do we defy their orders? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. You make a convincing argument, my lord. I agree wholeheartedly. You have my vote. I have faith in you. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. The way forward is decided. The Roselle are our people. We must shelter them even if it earns us Hyzant's ire. After retaking Whiteholm Castle, Roland assumes the throne. Joy over the return of the Line of Glenbrook sweeps the kingdom. Yet not everyone is quick to welcome Roland back with open arms. Life under as frosty rule treated them well, and they suspect him to be naught but a figurehead of a puppet regime. Roland's absence, it seems, made room for discord among his subjects to flourish. Lord Saranoa. Certainly. Listen, lad. Further. I... Good point. Okay. Ah, yes?
Require some time to think. It is time to cast our votes. We have three options before us return to the Wolfort domain, depart to the Rosellan village or stay in the capital. Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I agree wholeheartedly. You have my vote. I have faith in you. You won me over. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. forward is decided. We return to the Wolfort Domain with Benedict and inform Father that we have reclaimed the capital. Deep in the Grand Nozellian Mines lay a most unexpected discovery. Crystals of pure salt. Now in possession of knowledge that could alter the course of history in Norzelia, the members of House Wolford gather at Whiteholm Castle to discuss their next move. Understand each of you keenly, my friends. You have not arrived at these decisions lightly, and I do not doubt your convictions. Yet choosing any of the options before me risks creating a schism among the others. I cannot afford to lose any of you. Not after how far we've come. Which leaves me only one option. Nay, I mustn't give in so readily. There must be another way. One that will bind us together, not tear us asunder. Now then, to find it. Certainties first. We cannot afford to relinquish control of the salt crystals to any one nation. Salt necessarily belongs to the people, and on that point I shall not waver. There must be a way to bring about the lasting peace Roland desires without the need for Hyzant's warped teachings. Hyzant <sighs> moves to take the Grand Norzellian mines as I contemplate this. It must be stopped. They will no doubt make an ostentatious show of power in an attempt to intimidate us. What's worse, they'll soon be at our door and we'll not defeat them with our army alone. Surely there's a way we can hold them off. The wildfire, of course, will draw them into the village and set the vast majority of their forces alight. 
The Hierophant will never relent, however. Aizant will bear down on us with the full force of their army. We've no chance of winning a protracted war. Aizant must fall, and quickly. We need Esfrost. We need the Death Snell. Tis the only way we'll pierce the Goddess's shield. I hardly relish the thought of asking Gustadolf to come to our aid. He'll no doubt demand the salt crystals in return. Who might help us get our hands on that weapon? Lord Svarog, yes! He's fortified alongside us. It's time he made good on his word. We share a common enemy in Gustadolf. He'll be a boon! There is still the matter of how we invade Hyzant and incite the Roselle to rebel. Yes! We'll blast away the statue and reveal Hyzant's lies for all to see. If the Rosellan legends are true, an enormous pillar of salt rests within the goddess's statue. Revealing that will prove that the Roselle spoke truth all these years. Goddess and Hierophant alike will lose all claim to authority, leaving them open to a revolt from a united Roselle. And now we have the means to make the explosives that will bring Hyzan to its knees. Just one problem remains. How will we manage to pass through the Goddess's shield? No banner could pass into Hyzan without arousing suspicion. Unless... they've no banner at all. The Consortium, of course. One glimpse of the Salt Crystals ought to bring Claris to the table. So long as I play to his self-interest, the rest will follow. I have it. I've found a way to give everyone what they want most in one fell swoop. The Salt Crystals will belong to all, and not just a privileged few. The people of Norzelia will finally be lords and ladies of their own making, masters of their own destinies. Benedict's fervent desire to protect the Domain's integrity, Roland's yearning for equity, Frederica's resolve to free her people. I hear you all, my friends. You're not alone. Nor are the countless others who look to me at this late hour. If ever there were a time to heed my father's last words, it is now. I must forge my own path and lead my people. The scales cannot save us this time. The words of my closest confidants have revealed a way forward that the scales never could. All that remains is to convince them to follow me down the path I have made. As Lord of House Wolfort, I solemnly swear an oath by which all future lords shall be bound. I will never turn my back on the promise of a better world. The path that House Wolfort walks leads them to the Hierophant's Palace. They stand before the doors, determined to bring about a new age of happiness for all in Norzelia. With conviction in their hearts, Serenoa and his friends take their final steps forward, knowing that where this path ends, another will begin.
The Hierophant's Palace, once a symbol of prosperity in the holy state of Hyzant, crumbles and sinks into the source, taking Edor and his baleful puppets along with it. So it is that the long war that began with the unearthing of salt crystals comes to an end. The hearts of the Norzellian people are shaken to learn of the new sources of salt, the Rosellan history of the land, and the end of an era of three warring nations. Once the Hyzantians learn the truth of the goddess's teachings, their influence is shattered, and the holy state descends into chaos. In Esfrost, the late Archduke's staunch followers refuse Farag's new rule. Fortunately, the tumult is short-lived. Serenoa, Roland, and their loyal companions show the way, espousing the tenets of a new Norzelia. One built around the ideals of mutual understanding and cooperation. Gradually, doubts are dispelled and anxieties allayed. Peace returns to the realm under the rule of King Roland of Glenbrook. And for the first time in history, all the people of Norzelia take their first steps on a new path. Together. I would see the day my people would be welcome anywhere. Yet here we are. It truly is a dream come true. It took some time for everyone to adjust, but now it feels like the Roselle have been here their whole lives. Aye. With things finally settling down here, the young lord and King Roland can move the people forward. One step at a time. Indeed. And we must do everything in our power to see their plans through. Frederica, how good it is to see you again. Glenbrook seems to have gotten back on its feet. It has, Uncle. How fares Esfrost? Some of Gustadolf's most loyal followers resisted the change, but we managed to peacefully resolve our differences in time. Ain't that a relief? Truly, it is. I would be loath to sully Esfrost's history any further, and I am certain Dragan would agree. Well, well. To think dignitaries can stand about chatting in the open like this. What a world we live in now. Minister Lila, welcome. I hope your journey was a pleasant one. You can scarcely imagine my surprise when I heard that King Roland had asked for me by name. In truth, I was unsure of whether or not to answer his summons. After everything I have done, I cannot imagine being worthy of such a lofty position. Of course you are, Minister. After the Hyzantian people lost everything they believed in, you were the one who kept them together. You also shared your research with the public. Countless lives were saved thanks to you. I am flattered you think so. But in the end, it was I who was saved. Ha-ha! <laughs> Come now! Let us save the catching up for later. We must be on our way to the castle. Where is your dear husband-to-be, Frederica? He is with Benedict at Castle Wolfort, discussing the prospects of the new Salt Crystal Mines. They will make their way here once they're finished. Lord Serenoa is as ardent a youth as always, I see. <laughs>
It has been an honor to serve. Wait! Where do you think you're going? I strayed from the path of righteousness, my lord. You speak of the day we all stood divided. Indeed. Had you not been there to unite us, Lord Serenoa, I shudder to think what our fate might have been. Ever since then, I have been plagued by nightmares. Visions of Norzelia swallowed up in flames because of my foolish counsel. But Norzelia has emerged stronger, and we could not have safeguarded her without you. My plan callously ignored Lady Frederica's people, and would have driven King Roland away. I failed you, both as steward to House Wolfort and as a man. I have no right to be part of this realm's future. Stop right there, Benedict. Who among us has not once erred? What is important is that we learn from our mistakes. If you haven't the strength to stand after you fall, you must learn to lean on others. That is how we came this far. Lord Serenoa. Our work has just begun. We must stand together to forge the best path forward. We cannot hope to do this without you. Pray remain with us, Benedict. House Wolfort needs you. As do I. <sighs> I refuse. I refuse to abandon House Wolfort and its lord. My allegiance lies with you, Lord Serenoa, now and forever. I am heartened to hear this, my friend. I will not fail you, or this realm, my lord. Now then, you are on your way to the Crown City, if I am not mistaken. Let us make haste, so as not to keep King Roland waiting. Ah, yes. About that. You still waver as to whether or not to divulge to him the truth. <laughs> there is nothing I can hide from you, Benedict. I know I should keep the secret for House Wolfort's sake. And yet... Do as your heart tells you, my lord. The bond between the two of you will not fray now. Your words hearten me, Benedict. I now know what I must do. Saranoa? Is everything all right? There is still time until the ceremony. There is something I must tell you, Roland. But of course, friend. What is it? I want you to see this. It was given to me by my lord father before he passed. The royal signet? But only those of the royal line are meant to have this. However, did Lord Simon come to possess it? My father told me on his deathbed that it was given to him by King Regna to be passed on to me. But that would mean... Indeed. My mother, the Lady Destra, came to House Wolfort bearing His Majesty's child. Then that makes us... Brothers? I am sorry, Roland. Perhaps I should have carried this secret to my grave, but I simply could not. I do not expect you to simply take me at my word. Pray examine the ring for yourself. There is no need. I trust Lord Simone's words. You do? Do you recall that fateful day, Serenoa? When our diverging convictions threatened to tear us apart. I do. You, Frederica, and Benedict, you could not see eye to eye. I lost sight of my duty as king and thought bending the knee to Hyzant would save us. I feel ashamed of my cowardice to this very day. But you were different. You never gave up. 
You found a path we were all willing to walk together. I think that more than proof enough of your royal blood. But no. Being king is not just a matter of lineage. A king must hold fast to his ideals and be a beacon of hope to his people. His ears must be attuned to the wishes of all, and his eyes must see all paths, even those not shown by the scales. Sarah Noah, my brother, you are capable of that and much more. I have no doubt you were meant to rule this realm. Roland. I will give you the throne, if you so wish it, and swear to see your will done. I am flattered, but I must refuse. Your words now are proof enough of your kingship, Roland. The people are ever in your heart, and you have shown that you can look back and learn from your mistakes. Narcellian needs a king like you at his helm. I am Sarah Noah, son of Simon and ward of House Wolfort, ever a faithful vassal to his majesty, and his closest friend. I just could not go on living without telling you the truth. Hmm. Your majesty, everyone has arrived. Thank you, Huet. Let us begin the ceremony. Thank you, everyone, for coming here today. The war is over, and we have reached an agreement on the Salt Crystals. They will be deemed property of the Norzellian people as a whole, and be distributed fairly across the land. Lord Swarog and Minister Lila, we cannot thank you enough for your help in this endeavor. Think nothing of it, King Roland, but know that this is just the beginning of a new age. Indeed. And in this new age, I hope that all of Norzelia can overcome the borders of our nations and join together as one. In order to do so, Lenbrook wishes for an equal and peaceful union with Esfrost and Heisen. And the first steps toward that are self-governing territories, yes? Correct. I will allow for free trade of goods, salt crystals included, between these territories. I will gradually ease the borders, while fostering awareness of a unified Norzellian people. I would like Lord Svarog to preside over the new Esfrosty territory. Of course, King Roland. I will do all I can to achieve my son's vision. Minister Lila, I would like you to preside over the Hyzantian territory. Gladly, King Roland. And presiding over both Wolfort and the Rosellen territory. I would have none other than my dearest friend and companion, Sarah Noah Wolfort. As you command, Your Majesty. And I do believe that concludes the formalities. I have but one more order for you, Sarah Noah. Ask and it shall be done. If you insist. I order you and Lady Frederica to have your long overdue wedding at the soonest opportunity. What? Roland, there are still so many matters to attend to. We couldn't possibly. This is an order from your sworn liege. You dare not refuse, Lord Wolfhorns. Roland. <laughs> what better to mark the start of an era of unity than a wedding? You will be my nephew in no time, Lord Serenoa. I know it is sudden, but shall we, Frederica? I would like nothing more.
never expected to see all these familiar faces here. It is a true testament to the path they walk together. Indeed, this is not only a celebration for Glenbrook and the Roselle, but S. Frost and Hyzant as well. Their union will become a symbol of the new era. A new dawn is breaking over Norzelia, and I am honored to be here to see it. The young lord's all grown up now. Feels like it was just yesterday when he was no higher than my knee. I feel the same about Frederica. She was always alone, yet today she is someone's bride. This is the happiest day of my life. My friends, it would appear the young couple is ready to begin. Without further ado, let us commence the ceremony. Please welcome the bride and groom, Frederica Esfrost and Sarah Noah Wolfort. 